G'day guys, my name's Adam and I'm back with another unboxing and that's of the Nintendo Switch Lite Special Pokemon Edition. Now this particular console is one that I didn't think I'd actually be buying um, for a few reasons, uh, but in the month or so since the Switch Lite has come out, I've actually changed my mind and become very curious about this console and so I wanted to pick one up myself and see what it was all about. Now the thing that first struck me about this console box is it's very small when compared to the original Switch box. Um, and I guess that's because there's no dock, um, there's no Joy-Con holder, uh, and it's missing, I guess, a whole bunch of uh, cords and cables. Um, but it really is kind of surprising when uh, this box is so much smaller. Now taking a quick look at the box, bit of a standard Nintendo affair going on here. Now other than being a big Nintendo fan, the reason I picked up the uh, special Pokemon edition is because I actually think it's probably the best looking of the current Nintendo Switch lights. I actually didn't mind the black and the turquoise Switch light, but I really didn't like the standard uh, white color they have on the buttons. So that's why I've gone for this one. It, it's just something a bit different, and these probably won't um, get as dirty as standard white buttons. So let's open this one up. As is tradition, there's no seals on Nintendo products anymore for some reason. Alrighty, so this is the first time I've actually seen a switch light in person. So let's see what it looks like. <laughs> and first impressions, uh, this thing is tiny when compared to the original switch. Um, in fact, it's almost deceptively smaller than the original switch. That was the one thing which, uh, one of the reasons why um, I wasn't actually going to get a Switch Me. There's a few reasons, I'll, go, I'll quickly go into them shortly, but the main reason was I didn't think this was going to be significantly smaller, so I couldn't see what the point was in buying a Switch Lite when it was only marginally smaller in my mind than the regular Switch. But actually seeing this in person... Where's my Switch here? First impression straight out of the box, it's way smaller than the regular Switch. Um, and that's probably a good thing, um, because the regular Switch, my current setup with the Switch, which I'll show you, uh, is quite big in the bag. Um, not, not unmanageable, uh, it's just quite large. And this being quite small um, means that I can probably, I'll probably be more inclined to take it more places. But let's have a quick look around. It's quite a nice and subtle pattern on the back there. I can't pronounce these two Pokemon names, uh, but I've actually just finished Pokemon Shield myself. Not a bad game, um, probably not my favorite Switch game of all time, but not bad for a Pokemon game. All right, the other thing actually immediately noticing is um, that's really light. I guess that's the name, but that's way lighter than the regular Switch. Um, wow, it just feels lighter. Anyway, let's um, quickly check out what is in the rest of the box, which probably isn't much by the looks of this. So you have a single manual sheet and the USB-C power cable. So there you go. Alrighty. Now the nice thing I guess about the light, another thing I wasn't 100% certain about was whether or not these buttons um, were the same size. But in the flesh they actually look like they're exactly the same as a regular switch just in different colors. They do feel slightly different though, the actual thumbsticks, which is which is hopefully good. I've never experienced any Joy-Con drift in the last sort of two and a half years of owning a Switch, um, but I certainly um, can see there is a, a valid concern there. And that does concern me with the Switch Lite that it's probably not the most easy device to repair if you have a problem with one of these in the long term. So going into some of the reasons why I originally didn't want a Switch Lite, and for me, um, I actually just, the primary reason was it can't dock to a TV. Um, I do play my Switch probably 70% of the time in handheld mode, but I do love that feeling of every now and again being able to just sort of dock your Switch and playing it on a big screen, just sitting back and relaxing and playing on a big screen. 
And I thought the fact that they removed that ability from the switch light didn't make any sense. Um, the other thing was the switch light, the new, sorry, the new switch itself, um, as you can probably tell from the box, I do have the newer model of the switch. Um, it has a phenomenal battery life. Um, and like I'm talking probably six hours or more. And because of that, um, I didn't really see the point in buying a switch light, which only has sort of three or four hours battery life. Um, other things as well, I mean, the switch light doesn't have HD rumble, doesn't have auto screen brightness, and it overall has a smaller screen. Um, so all of these things are making me think, what is the point of the switch light? Uh, and then I guess I started watching a few reviews since the switch light came out, and a lot of reviewers were making the same sort of commentary that they were really enjoying the switch light and it had become their primary switch. Um, and, the, and the reasons they were giving were, is that it was smaller, uh, it was lighter, and they were finding that they were just finding it to be a much more comfortable device to use. And that really made me think that was an odd comment. Like I was, I was finding it odd that so many people were saying the Switch Lite was a comfortable console. Um, coming back to the regular Switch, I never found this to be comfortable to play handheld. In fact, it was only since adding this uh, Skull & Co grip that this Switch Lite, the, the, the regular Switch really took on a life of its own for me. I mean, this Switch, uh, the, the Switch with the Skull & Co grip has made this a, a wonderful device to play on. I'd actually tried, I was just liking the way this felt in the hand so much, I tried a whole heap of grips, uh, including, um, there's another grip which you sort of slide the switch into, but I didn't like that grip at all. This Skull & Co one, although I absolutely love um, this particular uh, grip and case, it's just amazing. Um, but the thing was I, was, I was thinking, how on earth could this possibly be more comfortable when it's, when it's smaller in the hand. Uh, and so in theory, your, your fingers are gonna be more and more cramped on it. Um, so that's one thing I was very curious to try out. I was very interested to find out about the size, about how much smaller it is. Uh, and, and yeah, and from those first initial impressions, it is a lot smaller. Um, so maybe people are right. Maybe it is a better overall handheld package. I guess only time will tell. One final comment for Australian viewers out there is, I think that another reason why the Switch Lite didn't make a lot of sense to me is that the regular Switch in Australia is regularly on discount for $399, $379 or even lower. I mean, on Black Friday, you could pick up a Switch, um, a, a full Switch, a 2019 Switch with Mario Kart for $349 from Amazon Australia. In comparison, the Switch Lite has a recommended retail price of 329 and even on special at 299 this looks like a particularly poor value compared to the regular switch because the regular switch for an extra fifty dollars comes with uh, a dock a game um, you know better battery bigger screen um, replaceable joy cons hd rumble the whole works so as a parent i think the switch especially on sale is a better overall package um, however I guess maybe the Switch Lite has its place, like I said, for those seeking ultra portability. And that's what I'm very interested to find out. Do I use this and prefer, will I use this and prefer this over, um, I guess, the beloved Switch? Uh, or will I end up finding that um, I end up going back to the Switch and essentially not using this? Time will tell, and I'm very interested to find out how it all goes. In any case, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.